What did you think of my drawing? Shut up. Woman, we have reached our final destination. An e former and the prize for her wickedness are now face to face with each other. Carry out the verdict of the elders and the gods of our land that we may leave the evil forest for the evil woman and the spirits. I, Ibudu, have spoken. Execute her! No! Move, move, move. No! Move. Now see her for yourself. Because of my ancestors. Isaac, what is wrong with you? Father, I don't know. All of a sudden, I, I started feeling like someone poured go without me on the Amatan morning. I'm freezing with cold. It's malaria fever. But now, her, her body temperature is very normal. That's why I came to call you. What manner of malaria fever could come without any change in body temperature? Oh. Strange. Very strange. Anyway, oh. I'll get her some antidote. Eh? Come with me. You are suspecting something. What is it? Is she in trouble? Her mother had eight children before her and only she survived. I had to marry when it became obvious that Ifoma could not give me more children. It was something we mutually agreed to. Only that she allowed jealousy to take the better part of her, which led her to some tragic mistake that spoiled everything. And I please stop. You know how much I hate discussing that incident. 
Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, Nai. Nai, were you trying to say that Isiak is an Owanje? Only such could justify a strange fever on a maiden like her. Go so for one sister. Nai, it's a very bad thing for her Owanje spirit to start manifesting none of all times. She's getting married soon. What will Azuka and his people say if they get to hear about it? Hi. That could mean an end to that proposed marriage. And this yak will be devastated. Now we need to look for solution. Immediately and secretly. I can't stand any other thing, but I can't stand seeing Isiak and the Berich being unhappy. And they will not be. Uh, I'll get to go with the Obanje Spirit Priestess to take care of it. In fact, I'm more worried about something else, which is the sacrifice at the Ahijok Shrine today. It is my family's turn to provide the sacrificial item this year. And in line with the custom and tradition, only a maiden from our family can bear those sacrificial items to a joke shrine. Nani, and this fever has ruled Isiako out completely. <sighs> That's true. Uh, Ibudu, the chief priest, will soon be here with some elders. Nani, Nani, would they accept your second daughter? I don't know, but one thing is certain. I will never allow Isiaku to suffer the humiliation of being an Obanje spirit possessed medium going public. Where is Ebeleishi? Nah, she went to cook for Emeka, her fiancé. Go and get her back and prepare her for the journey to the Ahejoku shrine now. Nah, nah, we do just that. Nah, please, stay with Isiaku. Nai, what do we tell the elders if they ask of uh, Isiako? Don't worry, I'll prepare a good cover story. Love. Hmm? Oh, mm -hmm. You're the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> if I love you so dearly, I love you very much. <laughs> I just wish to spend the rest of my life with you. Eberachi! Eberachi! Please come, come, come. We have to go home. Come, come. Mother! What's wrong? Calm down. Let's go home. Let's go home. We have to go home. Mother, let me come with you. Eberachi, come, 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 come. Mother, let me. We have to go home. Mother, let me come with you. Awaka. Yeah. Oh, as a more. You know why we are here, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. Um, Nkem. Hi. Bring her out. As a more, leaders of our land, the sacrificial items are here, and the bearer also here. Your second daughter? Oh yes, my second daughter. The call of nature rendered the, 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 the first not qualified to make the trip to Ahijoku Shrine. She is with the blood. Okay, I see. As a more, let's go. Take the lead, my daughter. Hi, 
Ayajoko, gods of our ancestors. The time has come. Your children have come to ask for your blessings. They have come to ask for rain to bless this planted season. That you will bless them with abundance of crops even as the harvesting time will come. The time has come. Come down to bless them. You have promised to bless them before. Ayajoko, the time has come. The time has come. I call upon you, Ayajoko. You have never disappointed us before. I know that you will not disappoint us this time. Come and bless your children. Send down your rain. We ask for your rain. Send down your rain. Ayajoko, for the last time, I call upon you. You have never disappointed me before. I know I am the mouthpiece of the gods. Whatever you ask me to say, that is what I say. I know you will not fail us. Bless them. Bless us with rain. So shall it be. God's of ancestors. I ask you. Father! Hi. Mosquito is biting you on your legs. Mm. Oh, don't worry. Oh. Very soon, Ezemo will collect the yams from you and you'll be free. No, it's no mosquito bite. It's. Gods of our land. Ah! Gods of our land, why? What? A woman with blood in the train? Arrow. Our daughter has been separated by the gods for the secreting the abode. I had your That is not possible. Not my own daughter. How? Why? Now you are joking, aren't you? I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking, my wife, but you see, I am not. Hey, Eberechi came down with blood on the shrine of I had your while the sacrifice was going on. Hey! Oh, I'm finished. Hey, hey. Father. Hey. Give my <laughs> what? Isiako, I, I mean, I mean, Nani, she mistrusts me God's well. Minutes after you put left with uh, Eberechi. Hi. 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 Oh, Hi. Oh. here to perform the ritual of separation, not to cry. Achike, collect the items from them and take them to the separated inside the shrine. Be careful not to make any physical contact with her, for it is a taboo to do so now.
With this, you are permanently separated from the rest of us for the next seven days and nights. During the period, you shall eat only roasted kukuyam. You shall have no extra covering on you, except the ones on you already. Neither shall you take your bath or clean the blood flowing out of you until the day it stops flowing. At the end of this, if you survive, then you shall take your bath in this shrine with the help of the old women of Umwele, with water fetched from the evil forest, mixed with the blood of a skunk, Nkapi, to cleanse the sacred ground you desecrated when you started flowing with blood here today. Without that, you shall remain separated and in this place until the day you die. One more thing. If you fail to keep the rules of the separation, you will be buried alive at the evil forest. Yes, at the evil forest. Is there anything you don't understand that I just said? I understand. Good. I do. Mother. Father. I make her my love. Please help me. I'm scared. I can't stay here alone. I can't stay here all day and all night. Please, I beg you, just help me, please. Calm down, my love. <laughs> Your father and I have decided to come here every night to keep you company. From the other side of the divide. Our customs and traditions forbid any form of company for someone under separation. And you should know that by now. Anyone that comes to keep a company of any kind shall be banished from Umwele for the rest of his or her life. And she be buried alive at the evil forest for failure to keep to the rules. I have spoken. Please help me. I can't stay here alone. Please, I beg you, don't go. Is she not feeling cold? She 
she's feeling cold as well. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I don't want anything to happen to my sister Berenji. I love the Berenji so much. The only sister I have. Mother, I can't sleep. Just, just go and sleep, Father. Forget about me. Go inside and sleep. Until my sister sleeps in the house. I will never sleep in that house. I will stay here and wait for her. Just go and sleep and forget about me. It's here for me. It's me. My father talking to you. I've always wanted you to have a good life. The goat, I play. If I had reported you to the elders, you would have had your manhood cut off and thrown to the gods at Urala Shrine for that abominable thing you did. But you cried, you pleaded, you told me how you an orphan an only child, and promise to be at my service as long as I keep my mouth shut for the rest of your life. I did, and here you are, alive with your penis. It's 22 months after, and your service is needed by Isiako. What manner of service that you had to bring me to this forest with such urgency to talk about Isiako? Whatever it is, you don't have the choice of saying no with what I know about you. Remember, if I choose to talk now, your manhood will still be cut off. Uh, am I sensing black men here? No, that's not the question. The question should be, what does Isiak want? As your father's only child, the continuity or otherwise of your father's lineage lies in your hand and this penis is the key what do you want from me isiako better isiako wants
Tell the gods. Tell the gods. Okay. We chew waka and attack that I met you here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at hey, this. Yes. did to my planted seed yam. You are, you are joking. I I I hope you are you are, you are joking. Who did this to planted yam in Umwele? Ah! God of Umwele must take revenge. Hey. Hey. Abomination. I am Joku. Hey. Umwele. Umwele. Where is everybody? Uh, uh, my husband went to call the elders and the chief priest for the ritual of reintegration. You know, Iberity is coming back today. Ah, I know, I know. That is why I'm here. Uh, Naya Waka sent a message to my mother and I to proceed to this place, you know, because of the big party you're about to throw. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, my mother will come later. Uh, I decided to come now so that I can, uh, you know, help with some of the preparations oh, and my son thank you very much you. you're welcome it's all right um what about uh what about Isiako, my love yeah uh, she went to the stream to fetch water oh <laughs> here she comes my love yeah. <laughs> you see one i know you <laughs> welcome my daughter <laughs> Is it a Welcome. Who could have committed such an abominable act in Umwe? Who in Igbo land does not know that uprooting a planted seed yam is worst form of sin against a hejoku? And a hejoku could punish us with hunger and starvation. Eh? Even there will be no rain for seven long years. Hey, who did this to us? Who did this to us? You are right. Even a small child in Umwele knows that the culprit will be killed by Ayojoku within 48 hours and his body thrown to the soldier ants to consume. But that will be if the person is still in Umwele 48 hours after doing that. But what if he had left Umwele? What if he or she did it deliberately in order to punish us? And if Ahajoko did not see the culprit, he will turn his rot on us, our people. You are right. Ahajoko could punish us severally. Eh? That, no, no. If you plant a yam here, it will never germinate. Mm. Hey, who did this to us? <clears throat> who uh, did this to us? There is no need for us to stay here in the morning. Let us go straight to the Shrian of Urala to consult. Hmm? Let's do it very fast. Thank the ghost. Thank the ghost I met all of you here. Ability has broken the rules of separation. I saw Ability roasting and eating yam while I was crossing the, the shrine of Ahajoko a while ago. You, you are a bloody liar. Where, where, where could she have gotten the yams? Where, 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 where could she? Uh, it, it, uh, what, uh, how am I supposed to know that? Huh? Uh, I'm not lying, no, I'm not lying. Uh, if, if, you, if people are doubting me, you, you can come and see for yourself. I'm not lying. No, Chukwode. Chukwode. If I eventually found out that this is lying, oh, I will kill you. 
I will put an end to your, I will put an end to your miserable uh, uh, life. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, you, uh, you should go there. Go straight to Ibu, the chief priest. Tell him what happened and that we are on our way to the shrine. Uh, uh, you should just let him. Very big lie. I haven't even eaten since morning. I've been waiting till I get home. How could you could tell such a lie? Stop lying and tell us the truth. I'm not lying. But please, let's just stop these jokes. Let's call the women, the old women that will come and wash me. Step back. She is as guilty as accused. I'm saying the truth. Oh, shut up! We are just coming back from a soldier ants colony. We saw a mecha your fiancé dead. Almost completely eaten up by the soldier ants. It was reported to me earlier this morning by a woman who saw him. Awaka! Who can? Did you hear that? It's only a joke that kills and throws the person to follow the hopes that are for one reason or one sin, and that is the sin of uprooting planted seed yams. Did he be that in the Yes! He is the one who uprooted the chill candles planted seed yams. That much is obvious, and logically too. He committed such a new abomination because of a marriage here. Where is the Yam marriage? I don't know. And Ayajoko killed your fiancé just like that? Achike, go inside the chair. Search for the Yam or any sign of it. It's not yams. Ah, yams. Aru. My own yams. My own yams. Father, I'm innocent. I did not eat any yam. Mecca did not bring any yam to me. 
I have no idea how those yams got here. Please believe me. My Emeka, he never came to see me, day or night. I don't know if he's guilty as accused, but I am innocent. Father, mother, you know me. Please tell the chief priest and elders of Umele that I have never told a lie in my life. Please, Father, plead for my curse. I'm tired. I really want to go home and rest. Please. Enough of this drama. Achike, Nana, bring her along. She is to be buried alive in the evil forest. No. I swear, I'm innocent. I really did not do it. Father, mother, please help me. I don't want to be buried alive. Please, I beg you. I said go and bring her along. No, no please. I'm innocent. Please, I beg you. I don't want to be buried alive. Father, please help me. Stop! I said bring her here. I said stop! And I said bring her along. I want to be tried by the gods. Let the gods vindicate me or destroy me. Emirati, do you know what you just Yes, mother. I know what I said. But I cannot allow them bury me alive with the truth. For my life, the reputation of my family, and Emeka, whose memory is being scandalized here. I am ready. I am ready to be subjected to any process that leads to justice. Let the gods fight for me, if they are still gods of For Nogo. Gods of our ancestors. Here she is. Accused of the worst kind of abomination in our land. On her own, she asked to be brought to the evil forest to be tried by you. We have done our part. Perform your part by sitting in judgment over her through the night. And if she is innocent, Keep her alive until we come back for her by sunrise tomorrow. If not, kill her. Let's go. Father, I understand how you feel. But it's been handed over to the gods. Cry no more. Just go home. Sleep tonight. And await my return tomorrow. I know. I know I'm innocent. I know I'm innocent. For no go. Ah, my advocate. They have never failed their grief. Neither have they killed innocent people. You taught me that from infancy. Or oh, don't you believe them anymore? My daughter, I am proud of you. I love you. Same here. Please send my regards. Send my regards to Mother and Isiako. Tell them how much I love them.
Getting food for your lover. Right? Must you always remind me of that? A Berechi must not survive the judgment of the gods in the evil forest. If that happens, our people will consult oracles far and near to know the person behind the yam seed uprooting and deal with the person accordingly. That was what my father said before I sneaked out of my father's compound to come and meet you. Are you aware of that? I'm leaving Umele tonight. Thank you for finally driving me out from the land of my bed. Too late for that. You are not leaving Umele. In fact, you must never leave Umele until Eberich is dead. She must not survive in that evil forest till sunrise tomorrow. The gods do not kill the innocent. I told you that right from the day you started blackmailing me into your evil scheme. Mm -hmm. Now that she has placed her life in the hands of the powerful gods, who will kill her for you? You. What? Now I know it. Now I know that you're out of your mind. No human being touches anyone that is being judged by the gods till they are true. And anyone who does will instantly be killed by the gods. And you know it. A very potent charm I got from one of the most powerful DB around the world. He said that if you wear this, no spirit, no matter how powerful, will harm you. That was his exact word. And you believed him? Of course I have to. He's been the one making charms for my father over the years and he has never failed. I have no reason to doubt him. Besides, I'll be coming with you. You... you... Yes. I have a role to play. To ensure the efficacy of the charm, he said I should go with you and strip naked nearby and watch you do it. That the spirits can never kill someone in the presence of a naked virgin. But if you don't want to do it, you leave me with no option than to go straight to the elders of Umwili and tell them everything I know about you, including the yam operating, Emeka's mother, everything. If you're thinking, of exposing me. Don't worry, I'll do that myself and slash my throat immediately. What? But, 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 what, 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 what? what if I ask you to do your worst? You are neither suicidal nor stupid, are you? Okay, okay. Tell me, why are you this desperate? to kill your own blood sister? Well, the answer to that question is irrelevant, but if you must know, I'll tell you. Verdict, wise one. The elders decided to follow what our tradition detects for corporates in situations like this. And the gods have given their consent. Youths, come with her at once. Let me hug my daughter. There is no time for that, woman. Come with her at once. The loss of the land gives a person in my position the privilege of a last wish. That hug is my wish. She is right. Your wish is granted. Isiak, come. Come, my daughter. Avenge me. Do everything you must to make sure that daughter peace and joy are strangers to this family. And as long as you live, don't feel remorse ever. I love you, my daughter. I love you too, mother. I know you're doing this. Proud to me that you can do it. 
I found it's murder. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, dear. Youths, let's go. Why are they taking you, mother? Don't worry, my daughter. When you grow up, you will know. Goodbye. Mother! Due to the vow I made to my mother, I made sure Iberichi's mother and my father never laughed for too long in that house. That they never experienced peace. By killing every child they had after Iberichi, before they are three months. I tried killing Iberichi, but all my efforts seemed abortive. Over 20 attempts to mother Iberichi, even when she was still an infant, and all failed. Last year, after Idibia told me she can only be killed by the community of the gods, I started planning everything that has happened to her. Starting from the day she menstruated at the shrine. I was never ill. I never had fever. I did all that deliberately so she can go to the shrine during the sacrifice. Knowing fully well she is 100% likely to start menstruating. I monitored her menstrual circle for 18 months. I want her dead. I want her mother childless. I want my father to die miserably. I can never be happy until I avenge my mother's death. But what I shut up your mouth. I am not here for an argument. Are you ready to do exactly what I asked? Or you want me to go straight to the elders and tell them everything? I am determined to die. I am not scared of losing anything. That is the truth. I'm sure you have a lot to care about. Your father's lineage, your manhood. Are we going or not? I came here to kill you. Huh? Yes. The same way I killed the maker. I want the truth to be buried once and for all. So it was you. It was you who killed the maker. And threw his body into a soldier ant colony. The seed, yes. You did that too. Yes. Yes, I did all that. I planted the seed yams earlier today when you were sleeping. Don't even bother asking me why I did all that. Because I won't tell you anything. Enough of all these questions and answers. Let me do what I came here to do and go back home and rest.
what the champ failed the champ failed and Iberichi is still alive thank the gods the idiot told you all I told him to tell you before dying thank the gods the idea came to me on my way to this place that would at least keep me beyond suspicion in all that has happened and more importantly give me time and space to make another plan and wait for another opportunity to completely avenge my mother on you your mother and your father yes this is not the end at all What happened? How, how did he die? Yes. Speak to me. I'm thirsty. Oh. Now, let, let me tell you, you, you think we came here to joke? No, not joking. Yeah, yeah. Because of our land. You want to rape me? Huh? Huh? Who are you for God's sake? Who are you? Oh, please don't do this. I'm a widow. Are you not afraid of the gods? Huh? Listen. Are you not aware that it is a taboo in the land of Umele for a man to have sex with a woman who is still mourning her late husband? Mikono, I beg you, please don't do this. I beg you. Oh? Mm. Have you finished talking? Okay. Eh? Oh yeah, remove your clothes now. So, no, 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 no. You? Oh. Even you? Uh huh. Asuka, Iruka. Oh. Look, are you going to have the plan as uh, have fun with us? You planned or not? Asuka, you mad? She will expose us. Can't you see she has already seen our faces? Can't you see it? Let me tell you, you're talking Yanyampo. You're just talking uh, this thing. Are you going to have fun with her first? Or you want me to go and do it first? Are you out of your mind? I'm inside my mind. Huh? Azuka. Good question. My late husband is his father's younger brother. Huh? Are you done with your salmon? No, are you done with your salmon? In fact, you've already worsened the issue. If you produce, deliver, alter, say anything here again, I am going to cut you into tiny pieces. Now what you do? Mm -hmm. Lie down and do, remove your clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sit down. Kaya, sit down. 
Hey, hey! Okay, I don't care. You want to do what? You want to. Our food for Nadog. He just took a meal. Please don't do this. He want to. He not para. So I will go and hustle for you to come and. Come and just let my man know something. No, 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 that is why the spiritual will always control the physical. The mortal man, even with his eyes wide open, cannot discern spiritual realities because his existence is merely accidental. That is why, true servants of the spirit, like Igbudu, is here to guide the mortal man to where he is going. Oh, to do bele, okri bele, patak patam, patak 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 patam. Again? When the sun and the rain begin to drag for a place up in the sky, is that not the sign of trouble? But why? Why Uzuma, my late brother's wife? A woman in mourning? Surely, they are not ignorant of the consequences. Oh yes, no wonder whoever the gods want to destroy, they first make blind. I think it's time now that I stop them before they destroy everybody in this village. Oh yes, I must have to. I must have to. There's trouble. Yes, before I could finish, she passed out. Is that why you are panting? Is that why you are panting? Four rounds from you, three rounds from you, what do you expect? Is she a lot of you? Look, let us go back and finish when we start it. Uh, how do you mean? Don't tell me you want to... I am the only son of my mother who is a widow and has gone beyond the age of childbearing. You understand? That woman, I will not let her go beyond today. Eh? Asuka, okay. my dear friend, let me ask you. Will you accept to be executed in an evil forest for raping a widow who is still mourning her husband? Will you? Can your family live with the disgrace and the shame? I mean, with the shame and the disgrace? Let me tell you, we have to complete what we started. Anyhow you look at it, we are already criminals. We are already criminals, so we have to do it. Yes! A chicken Azuka, my own brother's wife. And his friend Achike did too. Look at what he did to a fellow woman. I, 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 Quiet. I am not here to listen to your talks. 
I'm here to give you a message for your son. He must go and report himself to the elders of your community. He should tell them what they did to me. Else, I will destroy him. He must go. I said, soonest. Soonest, Akuna. Azoka, how could you? How could you, Azoka? A woman mourning her late husband. Hey! After all the huge sacrifices I offered to the gods to, to save you from the curses your sister placed on you, you still went ahead and did this. Achike's father and I agreed that both of you should get married. The maidens were even on ground. Yet you went ahead and, and did what you did. How can I save you now? Hi. Why did I even get entangled with this? Why did I hide you all these years from the atrocities you committed against women? Why? Oh. Eh, must stop sounding like this now. Eh? Stop sounding this way. Eh? I don't like the way you are sounding. Please, at least, I, I don't want this woman's ghost to kill me. Biko, eh? Mama, remember I'm your only child. Though. So for that, you wouldn't heed my advice to stop raping women all these years, right? Well, you are right. I have been hiding your raping spree, both in Umele and the Digo communities. Just because I don't want to be childless. But it seems the gods, the gods are using that one thing I feared against me. By you going ahead to rape and murder a widow and with the threat from her spirit, covering you up will be out of the question. So I think it is better for you to report yourself to the elders, like she said. Or she will kill you. I know you can help me. You, you, you did it before. Please do it again this time. Biko. Eh? How? Azoka, how? We are not talking about humans here. We are talking about the angry spirit of a woman you violated and killed. I cannot help you. Uh, okay, the first person Achike and I raped was my younger sister. Despite that, Mama, you married her out knowing fully well that she will die during childbirth. You lied to her. You and Achike's father lied to her that you've offered sacrifices to the gods, that nothing was going to happen to her. Uh, when she realized that you lied to her during labor, she cursed Achike and I before she died. That we will continue raping until we destroy ourselves in the process. When you realized that the course could not be broken, you vowed to me that you will continue protecting me in case such thing happen again. Reason was, if the case was reported to the elders, you, me, Achike and his father would have been executed for it. Mama, I remember all these things. Why are you sounding differently now? Why are you sounding differently, Mama? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I sound differently? Or oh, why would I act differently? Eh? Okay. Since then, tell me. Since then, how many other women have you raped? Twelve. Have I not kept to my own side of the story? I have kept to my word. Why would you go to the extent of raping and killing your victim this time around? How can I possibly protect you from... The angry spirit of the dead. Tell me. Uh, uh, Mama, I know that Achike's father is a powerful priest. 
If you go to Achike's father, both of you can do something. Mama, please, do something now. Eh? Do something and cover me up. I don't want to die. Wait, oh, Azoka. You said that Achike's father caught you at the scene of the crime. He did, though. What did he do? He didn't do anything. He just walked out. He couldn't even wait to listen to what I was saying. He just walked out. Well, if a man as powerful as Achike's father could not help you, I wonder what you think a mere woman like me can do. It is better for you to do as the spirit had instructed. Go and report yourself, then or she will kill you. Mama, it's again. Sorry, I can't help. You can't help me. It's alright, no problem. <clears throat> I've heard what you said. Eh? I am going to report myself as the ghost requested. But before I do that, I will report all the rape cases that we've been involved in. I will start with the one that involved my younger sister. <laughs> Mama, leave me, let me talk. Yes, I will start with that one. And I will also report how you and Atike's father have been covering up all the rape cases in this village. Where are you going? Of course, to the elders. Hey, come, come my son. You don't need to go to the elders. Eh? We can actually resolve it here and now. How will help? No, 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 no. We can resolve it here. What I did to Aboma, your son's betrothed wife, is just a warning. And that will be the last warning. Get your son to go and report what they did to me to the elders. Or be prepared to bury him when next I come. Like I said, last warning. What were you expecting when you raped and murdered the son? Oh, you thought our spirit would just cry to the land of the dead and do nothing to you. You were wrong. You were wrong, son. You were wrong. What? How? How did you know also my spirit appeared at the scene where my mother died? Our spirit just two left here before you arrived. And she said the next time she would be here, it would be your turn. Except you report what you did to her. What? Oh, 
that? Yes. How can I possibly do that? Father, this is like asking me to go and commit suicide. Is your wretched life more important than ours? Is your wretched life more precious than ours? If you are counting on me for protection this time around, count me off. I told you the last time that the gods want me against that if I ever love my life. Listen to me. If you were counting on me to disobey the gods, to save you again because you are my only son, you lied. Listen to me very well. I swear it to you, before Uruala and all the gods of our land, that I will never get involved again. May the gods of our land kill me if I ever do it again. You're working out on me, Father. Oh, okay, good. If you walk out on me, I will do exactly what Uzuma's ghost wanted. But I will report every rape case. Every rape case I've been involved in this village. And I will tell them how you've been covering it up because I'm your only son. alone and go for ordinary woman to have fun with did i not tell you because you watched her through the window having sex with your uncle you said to yourself you must have a taste of her body and it will not pass today was that not what you told me was it not what you told me shut sh 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 up shut up now when you failed to handle her as a man and allowed her to blow your cover let me ask you how would we have covered our tracks if we did not kill her how Azuka, Luka! Azuka, Luka! Azuka, Luka! I don't want to die. I don't want to die too. I don't want to die. I don't want to die too. If I come with you in a car, you don't want to die. You don't want to die. Azuka, what I'm supposed to be listening now, and what you're supposed to be telling me now is how to, what to do to live. Yes, the only thing you have to do now is to shut up. Let us wait for my mother's arrival because she went to consult the Dibia. That is what I'm doing now. Yes! I'm a, 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 Mother, 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 how, 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 how was it? Yes. Anywho. The moment this necklace leaves your neck, you will be at the mercy of Ozoma's angry ghost. So said Didibia. For me to get these two necklaces, I was condemned to eating my own stool each time I go to the toilet. No thanks to both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing this to me. Thank you. Hi. 
you see, I wish tomorrow were today. Why would you say that? I said so because I cannot wait to come to your end and meet your parents to pay your bride price. Do you know, I love you so much. I love you so much that each day that passes by and I did not spend it with you, I feel so empty. <laughs> well, I love you too. And I know you love me so much. But you have to be more patient. A little more patience. Very soon, we'll spend the rest of our life together. Thanks for seeing me off. Uh, 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 you see, accompanying you to wherever you go is a duty I love to perform. Please, let's have the tightest hug ever for this line. <laughs> Please, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs> right. Ah, my love. There's something I took from you when you were sleeping in your house. And what would that be? No, 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 please. You can't take it. Please, g give it to me. I just said I took it because I like it. Yes, but this, this, this particular... Let me tell you. You can take anything you want from me. You can ask for anything and have it. But this one, you cannot have it. You didn't it. just say that, did you? I, 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 I am sorry, Oh, God. please spare me that useless sorry. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care about how sorry you are. Take it. But if you live with this necklace, forget that you ever met someone like me. Because I can't spend the rest of my life with a man who attaches more importance to a man necklace than the feelings I have for him. Are you ready to take it? I take that for. No. Don't kill me! spirit is angry indeed. Why didn't you come straight after parting with Isia? Uh, wise one, it's only my mother that knew this place before now. I, I, I ran to her to tell her what happened. In fact, I, I had gone in dog on her instruction to get money to proceed to your place before I saw the ghost. Please help me. You took the right decision to come to me immediately after the seizure. Uzuma is planning to distress you publicly and finally kill you. If you ever step into Isaku's compound tomorrow, your next seizure will happen. Just as he's about to hand the acceptance wine over to you. I, may the gods forbid. In Idigo, epilepsy is regarded as a special kind of punishment from the gods for any hidden sacrilege committed by the victim. And first thing my people will do is to chase the victim out of Idigo and then consult the oracle to find out what he did. Uh, wise one, if that happens, I will not just only lose Isiak, but I will be doomed forever. My son, Mother, don't, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. You are my only son, for goodness sake. Uh, mother, hmm? I swear, if I ever have seizure in public, I will take my own life. No. Uh, uh, mother, we are talking about disgrace, a total disgrace of not just only me, but for the entire family. Mother, what is life without honor? 
Our people are going to kill me if they find out. Don't, don't, don't you, don't, don't, don't you understand? Don't, don't you understand? Azoka, nothing will happen to you. You will not die. You will live and marry Siako and give me grandchildren. I know of that. Mother, which maiden in this part of the world in her right senses will agree to marry an epileptic? I have committed a grave sin and that is it. Please allow me to do what Ozuma's ghost wanted. I am sure she is going to rest upon my death. My son, you will not die. That is why we have come to consult to me. He was the one who gave me that necklace that protected you before. And I'm sure he will do it again. Just calm down. Oh? Wise one. There has to be a way out. There must be a cure for, for this epilepsy. You can pacify Uzuma's spirit or even cage, cage it. That is why we have come. What shall I do? Getting the necklace back is out of the question. It lost its potency the moment she removed it. It's only the chief priest of Umuel on whose soil Uzuma was violated and murdered can save the situation by caging her angry spirit. No other person in the whole world can, not even me. Mother, did you hear that? How could the chief priest of Umuele help me when he had vowed never to help his only son before the oracle? How? Why is what? Father, I'm not lying to you. It happened today. And as I'm speaking to you here, his people would be going to Awaka's compound to pay Isiaku's bad price tomorrow without him. This is because Uzuma planned to strike Azuka with another epileptic seizure during the ceremony. If she, should he go there? Father, According to the Dibia they consulted, you are just the only one, the only one who can cage the angry spirit of Osuma. Failure quits if she returns in 16 days. She will kill the both of us. And you heard me vow before the gods the last time never to get involved again, didn't you? Such vows can only be broken with the blood of a virgin. And that is a sacrifice I am not ready to offer for the sake of rapists and murderers like you. Go and tell that to your useless friend. Hey, Papa, I'm your only son, oh. You don't have another one, I'm your only son, oh. Hey, okay. Since the day I saw you murder that innocent woman, my own late brother's wife, I started regarding myself as a man without a son. You may not know this, but let me tell you the truth. You are already dead in your wickedness. Oh yes, look at you. Instead of feeling remorse for what you did, you went ahead to spread wicked lies that Uzuma ran away with a stranger to a distant land in order to avoid taking care of our little children. By the way, how many times have you and that your wicked friend gone to see those three little orphans? None. You know what? You are too wicked to deserve my sympathy or that of anyone. Now get out of my sight before I strike you dead myself. Get out!
Oh, you know, give me this. How? Did he agree? He, he, he refused. He refused. Azuka, my father wants me to die. My father wants Uzuma's spirit to kill the both of us. I don't, the problem is, I don't know why he... he... Hey! any of them. Not even my husband or my parents. Look at me. Look at what they reduced such an innocent girl to. They tore me away from my husband and separated me forever from my own people. Please, please help me. Help you? How? I'm tired. I'm dying of thirst and hunger. <laughs> 